Hey everybody, it's Christina, Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and do the third installment of my acrylic flow art series. This is cleaning off the silicone off of the acrylic pour and then going through and doing a varnishing. So when you do these acrylic pours and if you add silicone to your paint mixtures, then the silicone will actually beat up um, and you'll see kind of a shine to certain areas even when the painting is fully dry. I have let this cure for over two weeks. Um, some people say that you only need it to cure for three to four days. Other people say a week. Some people say two weeks. Um, especially because I have really large paintings that I knew would probably take longer to cure. I went ahead and waited for the full two weeks and then because my back went out um, and some other things going on in my life this has actually been two weeks and three days so fully fully dry and there are shinier areas i don't know if it's going to come across in the video but there are some shinier areas where i think the silicone has uh, come up and that is what you want to happen you want the silicone to come up so that you can clean it off before you do any kind of varnishing or epoxy coating. I think this will give you a shot of that silicone, the shininess of it as compared to over here. This area has a lot of silicone in it and that is what I'm going to be trying to clean off. I'm going to do a varnishing rather than epoxy coating because with epoxy, in order to really get out all the little air bubbles and whatnot and have it really smooth, you need a blowtorch, and I don't have one. Plus, because three of my canvases are actually so large, I was worried that the weight of the epoxy was going to make the canvases sag. If I had done this on hard boards or wood or something like that, that might not be a concern. But with canvas, I was a little concerned about the weight of the epoxy. So first off, how to clean the silicone off. And you really need to do that before you put any kind of clear coating on top. Otherwise, the clear coating will have little divots in it and not be smooth. The silicone will resist the varnish or the epoxy. Uh, so you really wanna make sure your canvas is fully clean of the silicone. And I'm just gonna take some baby powder. Some people I know use flour. Um, and other people use talcum powder, uh, any kind of powder that will you can kind of brush in. And I'm just taking a dry paintbrush and I'm gonna go over the top. And hopefully that will soak up any of the silicone that is still on here. And you don't need to watch me putting on and brushing through all of the baby powder, but just know that I brush that powder in multiple directions, left to right, top to bottom, diagonally, just to make sure I got into all the kind of grooves of the canvas with the powder. I also made sure that I did this along the edges of the canvas as well. Now I'm taking a fully wet microfiber cloth and I'm just gonna wipe off and really clean all of that baby powder off. And I'm using a microfiber cloth because I don't want lint transferring from my wiping cloth to my canvas, especially before I'm gonna use that clear finish. You can find microfiber cloths in the cleaning section of a lot of stores. I bought a huge package at Costco for not very much money and I found that it worked really great for cleaning off these canvases. For the large canvases, I rinsed and wrung out the microfiber cloths uh, four times for each large canvas, just so I could make sure that all of the baby powder and silicone was completely cleaned off of the canvases. And now I'm gonna let this fully dry again for another 24 hours. I wanted to show you real quick that there is a little bit of color transfer on the microfiber or cloth but it hasn't harmed the painting whatsoever i don't know why there's a little bit of color transfer but it hasn't affected the painting whatsoever i just cleaned this off and it's looking great i am using this minwax water-based polycrylic protective finish crystal clear finish in a clear gloss 
so that it kind of brings back to life all the colors that have kind of dulled with the full drying and curing. Drying, by the way, takes about three to four days, whereas full curing, which is the elimination of all of the liquid from the project, takes over two weeks, between two and three. I waited a little over two and a half. Now you see me stirring up the polyacrylic really well. I wanna make sure that whatever particles are in the solution are well stirred up and throughout the solution. There's some odd gunk that had settled to the bottom, so I just removed that. I was stirring with you know, disposable chopsticks and I'm pouring that out into a small yogurt container that I had cleaned out for reuse. Just helps to have a smaller container. There you see me showing the soft bristle brush as well as the sponge roller. For the larger canvases, I use a sponge roller, but for the small canvas, you can see I'm using a brush. And it's really hard to keep these tools totally clean once you use them with polycrylic. So, you know, make sure you're not using your really expensive brushes for this. I think I may have poured a little too much of the polycrylic over top of this smaller canvas, but I'm gonna just gently push the polyacrylic off the sides, maybe recapture what I can so long as it's not bubbly, and I'm making sure I hit the edges. So I've done a first coat on all of my canvases, including the edges, and I wanted to share with you guys that rather than cleaning my sponge roller and my brush after each coating, which I'm gonna do three to four, depending on how much shine and of a protective coating I want on it, I'm gonna just wrap the tools with saran wrap so that it doesn't dry out and harden up. So after all of the canvases are coated, I'm gonna dispose of the sponge roller um, and I'm hopefully gonna be able to clean out my brush fully, but I wanted to share with you guys that little tip of uh, not having to fully clean out the tools in between each coating. And I'm gonna be waiting probably between two to three hours between each coat, just so that each layer can dry and before I put on the next layer. I ended up putting three layers on each canvas and then let it dry for at least 24 hours before handling. These are the other three canvases. I don't know if you can see the sheen on it, but it really is beautiful and the colors are so vibrant. And I'm gonna be taking this to my client to have it installed in their lobby. I hope you enjoyed this third installment of my acrylic flow art series. This one was dedicated basically to cleaning and varnishing the canvases. And I hope to share with you guys some embellishing ideas in the next installment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day.